Okay, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, in this video, uh, we are going to uh, discuss uh, a new topic, right? no more on negligence, but we are going to discuss a topic on trespass. Hmm? Topic on trespass. Right, so in this um, video we are going to look into uh, the meaning of trespass and a few types of trespass and few other you know, matters related to trespass where you can find this discussion because the lecture uh, the video here is actually based on the uh, no material that i shared with you page 17 until page 21 Okay, if you refer to your materials, page 17 to page 21. Alright, what is the meaning of trespass? Right, sometimes that is very common. People will say that A had trespassed to my property. A had trespassed to, the, uh, uh, to my house without my consent, without my knowledge. A had trespassed to my area. A had trespassed to my compound. More other than this trespass, uh, this is called as trespass to land, but we have a trespass to property as well. And then we also have a trespass to person. Okay, so a part, uh, part of the discussions that we are going to look in trespass here is to look into these types first. Uh. So before we proceed here, we just want to look into the general types or several types of trespass under the law. So we have here... Trespass to land, or sometimes, uh, maybe okay, never mind, we can put here trespass to land. Trespass to goods and trespass to person. Right, these are the three types of uh, no, trespass. Right, so trespass to land here basically we do not require intention right? remember we discussed earlier in the first early topic on the introductory part we, we discussed about intention, intentional thoughts or unintentional thoughts so in respect of trespass we don't have to prove intention if that trespass is trespass land no intention is to require so the fact that a person already entered into other person's land even though no intention has been uh, proof that person can still be liable for the trespass so that is trespass to land how about trespass to goods does it require intention okay similar to the trespass to land trespass to good does not require any intention it does not require any intention if we want to prove that a person has committed trespass to goods what is trespass to goods let's say you have your bag in the classroom and then you leave it on your table because you need to go to the washroom for a while or maybe you just leave on the table you want to go for to the cafe restaurant for a short during the break why you are not around in the class somebody else came to the classroom and inspect what you have in your bag just look inside your bag without your knowledge without your consent so this person is already committed a trespass to goods okay the two types of trespass we call it as a trespass to person and this trespass to person may be that is assault a s a u l t assault trespass to person one type of trespass to person is assault what is assault someone is threatening you that is assault i will kill you but he does not touch your body that is i will kill you be careful i'm going to do this to you it's just like a threatening that is assault so this assault is amount to amount to trespass to person second one is battery 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 is not 
it's not uh, it's not mere uh, you know a battery is not mere assault anymore but he already touched your body right maybe it's i will kill you and then he comes and close to you and put the knife at your neck that is already battery okay so this uh, battery is also a trespass that under the trespass to person and the third one is false imprisonment false imprisonment false imprisonment meaning that a person had put you in one uh, uh, confine you in one particular room and force you to be there and do not allow you to go out from your room put you into that without uh, uh, I mean unlawfully that is unlawfully eh? because they can be lawful for instance um, you know, a person has been uh, sentenced to punishment to put into the prison so that is lawful but now we are talking about uh, unlawful imprisonment eh? let's say a robbery there was a robbery, a uh, robber comes to the house and then they put you in one room and lock you in the room. So that is unlawful confinement or that can be amount to false imprisonment. So that act of robbery is already amount to criminal, jinaya. But at the same time, if you want to sue the robbers, you can sue this particular criminal for false imprisonment. So basically, you can see that the assault, battery and forced imprisonment also amount to jinaya. Okay, also amount to jinaya. But if we want to sue that particular criminal personally, we can sue them for civil wrong under law of torts. That is for trespass. Okay, so we will discuss later on this topic separately. Trespass to land, trespass to goods and trespass to person separately. All right. Okay. Now we start with the um, uh, the principles. Uh, please look to page ten. Uh, please look to page uh, eighteen of your materials. Okay. I will start with the uh, trespass to land or trespass to property. Trespass to land or trespass to property. Sometimes when we talk about trespass to land, is actually trespass to property. That will be another uh, another common uh, terms for trespass to land is trespass to property. Okay, if I say trespass to land, that will similar to the trespass to property. All right, for trespass to property or trespass to land here, there can be uh, several types. Under this, again, we have several types here. If I can draw here under trespass to land, trespass to land, right? So we have three types of uh, uh, types of trespass to land. Number one, trespass by relation. Number two is trespass to the airspace. Number three is trespass by placing something on the land. And the fourth one, trespass to the underground. Trespass to the underground. These are the three or uh, four types of trespass to land. And uh, I have this, right? You can refer to your page 18 that mentioned about these four types of trespass to land. Okay, what is the meaning of trespass by relation here? Okay, trespass by relation here is a very common that uh, many examples that I have been mentioned earlier is about someone is trespassing your land without your consent. Okay, you have your building and someone just come to your building, enter into your building, come to your house or come to your compound without your consent or without your knowledge. That is trespass by relation. So this person, all right, let's say if I am the occupier of this particular land, I am the owner of this particular land and somebody else coming without my consent, this person had trespassed to my land. Okay, that is trespass by relation. Okay, what is the situations where I am the owner of the house, but I rent it out to someone. Okay, I am the owner of the house, but I rent this house to Mr. A. 
Okay, so Mr. A is the tenant. I am the landlord. So Mr. A is occupying the house. The house is belong to me, but he is the tenant. So if I come to his house, to the house, that is my house, but he now rent. So if I enter into the house without his permission, I can be considered as trespass to the land, even if the property is belong to me. That is the general principle. I repeat, I have a house, but I rent to Mr. A. So Mr. A is the tenant, I am the landlord. So if one day I come to the house, I just, because I have the key, because I am the landlord, so maybe I have the key, I just open the key and open the door and just enter into the house without his knowledge, without his consent. I can be liable for trespass to land, even if the property is belong to me. So we have to be very careful. There, there are exceptions to this, but general rule, the, even though the owner themselves can trespass to their own land, if the occupier of the house, of the land, that is a tenant has no knowledge about you coming to the property, for instance. Okay, so that is trespass by relation. So we have the second one is trespass to the airspace. Okay, trespass to the airspace. What is the meaning of trespass to the airspace? Okay, let's say this is our land, and then suddenly there's a one helicopter fly very low above our land can we say that this helicopter had trespassed to our land to our property right the answer here is that whether the helicopter here fly on the land above uh, uh, above our land here is reasonable height or not okay whether the helicopter here when they across the airspace of our land whether with a reasonable height or not. If the helicopter fly very low to the extent that it may cause inconvenience to you, right, because when the helicopter fly very low on your land, it may cause like a nuisance to you. So this can amount to a trespass to the airspace. Okay, a trespass to the airspace. So the measure, sorry, the, the test that will be looked by the court in this situation is whether reasonable height or not. That is one example. Second example is the, um, uh, someone is using drone, you know, drone, right, uh, to take the, the picture, for instance. Is someone using the drone and then they fly above the land belong to us, whether this is amount to the trespass to property or not okay so maybe the drone fly is quite high but the drone is actually taking the picture right if they fly on our airspace and later on they are taking the picture of our families probably uh, you are not cover your aura not with the proper no hijab then it can amount to the infringement to your privacy right of your family members okay so this is amount to trespass to the airspace right so we have few cases uh, under the uh, trespass to the airspace that i will discuss with you in the other lecture okay so as of now i just want to introduce to you uh, basically um, the three types of uh, trespass just now and then i just introduced to you uh, the the types of trespass to land and then I just introduced to you just now the trespass by relation and I stop at the trespass to the airspace. So in the coming video, I will discuss with you few cases on trespass to the airspace, how this may occur, how this may happen about the trespass to the airspace. With that, thank you very much. Assalamualaikum.